Maruti's food court quarter numbers came in below expectation just a couple of days ago. Low sales being a worry. Uh, R.C. Bhargav, chairman at Maruti Suzuki India, now joins us on this conversation. Mr. Bhargav, many thanks for joining us on uh, Bloomberg. My first question is, uh, your sales seem to have been disappointing, at least uh, from a market standpoint. Uh, how do you see revival taking place? What's your outlook and do you think the worst is over? We can only hope that the worst is over. There's no certain way of saying that the worst is over because uh, a lot depends on what kind of government we get uh, next month and uh, how uh, effective this government will be in turning around the uh, economy into a high growth path and creating conditions where uh, there's a better sentiment for people to start investing in expensive durables. Uh, let's talk about individual segments, Mr. Barkov. You know, uh, your Celerio uh, was, was, was successful, but the small car segment, where the bulk of the business really comes from, still seems to be struggling. See, the small car segment will only start doing well when the economy picks up because a lot of the buyers of the small cars are first-time car owners. And these first car owners are often people who have uh, either got new jobs in areas where the salary levels are such as will sustain the guy buying a car, or these are people who have moved up uh, in their careers and are reaching a stage where they can afford to buy a car, but they are still first-time owners. And all of that, again, requires uh, the economy to pick up, new job creation to pick up, because uh, in the last uh, two years particularly, we have seen that uh, new job creation and the ability of people to afford a car has been grossly eroded. There's just not enough job creation also. So we need a significant change in this area and the economy has to get up to higher levels before we can really look for a turnaround in our uh, sales situation. Uh, what about the large car segment, Ms. Vargav, the, specifically the SX4 segment? Uh, what, what kind of game plan do you have to effect a turnaround? Well, any plan to arrest uh, a problem of falling sales is to find a product and uh, its pricing and its content and what it offers to customers, which will create some excitement in them. There is no other answer to this problem. We have, we have never done uh, particularly well in that larger car segment so far. Sure. Um, just a word about the Gujarat plant. You know, we've, we've heard so much about it in the last couple of months. Uh, what, what are the steps that you're taking to ensure the closure of the, of the Gujarat deal? There are three major steps which we have to take. The first is to get the contents of this whole uh, arrangement, including the contract manufacturing mm. agreement uh, contents, uh, discussed and approved by the Gujarat subsidiary of Suzuki. Because the agreement has to be between Maruti Suzuki and the Gujarat subsidiary. Mm. So now that that company has been formed and is uh, functional in that sense, I think this step now can be taken in the next month or so. The second uh, area of step is to examine this whole arrangement and ensure that from the taxation point of view or any other legal aspect, no problems are likely to arise, or if they are going to arise, they are minimized to the extent possible. So we are also doing that. We are consulting various uh, experts in this field to get all the answers possible sure. in the area of taxation and legality of the arrangements and what needs to be done sure. and how it should be structured. Sure. The third step is a roadshow with all the uh, investors. And that can only be done when the first two steps have been completed because you can't do a roadshow without these two steps. Once the roadshow is done, then we can immediately go for a voting. Sure. By, by when do you think this is likely to close, uh, Ms. Bhargav? You know, how long do you think this is likely to take? Uh, very difficult to say because of the uncertainty attendant on some of these steps. 
But uh, I think August or September at the outside should be the time frame I'm thinking of. Okay. Uh, a word on, the, on your, the cash on your books. I understand that you have got a cash pile of nearly uh, 8,800 crores. Uh, you said you'll add about 1,000 crores more in fiscal 15. Where do you plan to deploy this money? No, some of the areas where we will deploy the money, I think, have been already mentioned. Namely, we have to strengthen <coughs> our marketing infrastructure and network. Mm. And uh, this will be an ongoing thing to see what all we need to do to strengthen our networks. That's going to be one major area. The second network, uh, or second area of investment will be in R&D. We have to continue to strengthen the capabilities of uh, development in this uh, company. So that is the second area where we will continue to invest money. Having uh, done that, we'll look to see as we go along, and depending on how the market develops and how the economy develops, sure. whether in any other area we can find uh, an opportunity which fits into our uh, know-how and core competences and where we can perhaps uh, uh, go either to strengthen what we are doing today or to supplement it in some manner. Where would that be, Mr. Badka? What businesses or segments are you likely to invest this money in? You know, like we have already said, we'll get into this light commercial vehicle segment. Now, it's not our core segment as such. It's a little bit of a diversification. But it will, it will require a separate marketing network to be set up. That's interesting. So could you, could you give us some sort of a timeline of when do you enter, plan to enter the, the CV space? Uh, any timeline internally that you have? Sure. I think, I think all of this uh, strengthening of the marketing network uh, has to start now and carry on because uh, if the economy picks up and the market picks up, we have to be ready with our infrastructure. So one final question, you know, uh, the CV space right now is, is facing quite a bit of difficulties on a downturn. Why do you want to enter it now? You know, we, we, we are in this business, again, as I said, for the long term. And a lot of people, very wise investors, say the best time to invest in a certain area is when it is at its bottom. So uh, a downturn in the CV uh, business is perhaps a good time to get into that business. And that's how it's turning out. I'm not sure we planned it this way, but that's the way it's turning out, that we are entering this business when it is at its lowest point. So it can only go up.